It has been about 45 minutes, and all of the ingredients that you've seen up above are now a very nice, cohesive um, casserole, or hot dish, since we are in Minneapolis. Um, it is a Mexican lasagna, it's mock enchiladas, it's... Well, what it is, is it's, it's, it's happy goodness. It's this. Um, and it slides, so I'm not going to tilt it much further. You can see the photo up above, or else, there we go, there's a little bit better. Um, you can see all the layers. Um, you know exactly what's in there. It's not like I'm showing you anything you haven't seen. Um, ooh, let me grab a fork. Sorry. Um, I did, I had it in there in the toaster oven with the foil on it for 30 minutes. And I did take the foil off for the final couple minutes. Just so I could really crisp up the cheese on top. Because everybody likes the crispy cheese on top. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, the foil that I used is actually the Reynolds wrap that's non-stick on one side. Cheese can get a little sticky to the, to the um, foil, so not a bad idea. So anyway, um, as I said, I've been craving this for a while, so forgive me, but I'm going to take a bite while we're here. Um, obviously no dunking involved, um, but... It's just so good. Um, obviously, depending on what spice levels you like and what sauces you like, this will have a different flavor. Um, for me, the big thing is that you get the, the tortillas that are still partially together, um, but they've softened. I love that texture. That kind of cornmeal texture that you get um, like on a tamale or something. I love that. Um, I fully admit it's probably because my mom grew up in California and so we had really non-traditional food growing up in South Dakota. But anyway, I'm not going to take another bite. I'll be good. So there's the scoop. That's today's. Um, and I hope you liked it. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's quick. It's easy. It's, I mean, 45 minutes start to finish. Um, so it's definitely doable on a weeknight. Um, for me, I was going to say, if you're dealing with kids, for me, it's dealing with the dog. But this would be something that would be very easy for me to have taken her, or put it in the oven, taken her for a walk, come back, fed her, taken care of her, and it would, and the toaster oven would basically be beeping at me at that point. So, it's really easy, fun, quick, and you can change it out so much. You can do it with vegetables, or cheese, or, you know, it could be like a black bean thing if you want to get the protein up. Whatever you want to do. That weird noise in the background is Fiona playing with her Kong because she likes to chew on it. And it's that Kongs are a very hard rubber and so she's like scraping her teeth across it, which is that weird noise in the background. Anyway, um, let me know if there's something you would like me to try out, if there's some recipe that you've been looking for, any of those things, shoot them to me, hit me up in the message, in the notes down below, or um, if you're connected to me other ways, send me messages in other ways. Um, basically, anything you want me to cook or try to cook or attempt or taste or something on the blog, let me know. Um, and I will do what I can. All right? In the meantime, I'll see you in a week.